Hi, hello, and welcome to another episode of The Crafting Coach. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Megan Rosendahl. I am The Crafting Coach, and this is the first episode in a series of three to help us get organized. Do you have a dish or a bowl at home that you just toss your keys and spare change into? <laughs> me too. But instead of just tossing the keys into that bowl that only takes up counter space, I'm going to show you how to create a wall display for easy access. This week we're going to declutter our counter space and create this awesome display for those sometimes hard to find keys. The color and size is completely up to you, but the overall design will be the same no matter what direction you go. So here's what we'll need for this week's project. One picture frame. I'd recommend at least a 5x7 frame or larger. Paint, paint brushes, and small hook screws. When selecting a frame, be sure to grab one with a thicker border so you just have something to screw the hooks into. Dollar store frames probably won't work very well here. I found this one at a rummage sale for a whole quarter, so keep an eye out. The first thing we'll want to do is remove the glass and paint just the frame. You can absolutely keep the natural wood design if you prefer, but this is a simple way to add a splash of color to whatever room this will hang in. I'm using acrylic paint for this. Give it a coat, wait about 20 minutes, and apply a second coat for complete coverage. Once that's done, we'll just take the hooks and screw two or three of them under the top part of the frame so our keys will hang where the picture would be. If you have extra keys or other stuff to hang, feel free to add more hooks along the bottom. And that is all there is to this. This is a simple way to add color to your walls and organize your clutter at the same time. Make one to have and one to give away for less than 10 bucks. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Just a reminder that I'll be back next Friday morning at 11 a.m. with another organizational project just for you. And I'm gonna follow that up with a series of kids crafts. We'll tear them apart, we'll break them down, I'll tell you what to do, I'll tell you what not to do, and hopefully we'll have just a little bit of fun along the way. Be sure to follow my crafting coach board on Pinterest. You can find me under Megan Rosendahl. And also be sure to follow the American News online and on Facebook, where every single crafting coach video is available for you. On the home page, just hover your mouse over the 605 Life tab and scroll down to the crafting coach. You can also follow me on Facebook, and you can now tweet me at crafting underscore coach. If you have any project ideas you'd like me to try, or tips, tricks, or suggestions from previous projects, I'd love to hear them. Email me at mrosendahl at aberdeennews.com. Thanks again, and we'll see all of you in a week. Bye!